Hey guys, welcome to my first video. Today I'm going to be covering how you can get started with Python and prepare yourself for 2019 development. This video is going to be an introduction for my new Learn Python course which will prepare you for 2019 development and beyond. Make sure to look out for that soon and don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's get started. First open up a web browser and go to www.python.org. Now, you can click on the Downloads tab, and it'll take you to this page, and you can download Python 3.7.1 for whatever OS you're using. This may take some time to download. Now, I want to recommend you a certain Python IDE, which is fast, lightweight, and powerful. This IDE is called PyCharm, and you can visit this web the website at www.jetbrains.com slash pycharm now you can click download now and under the community you can click download and it starts downloading now you can see python is um, already downloaded but the uh, pycharm is still downloading if you go into your files and click on downloads you can open up the python 3.7.1 application and this will take you through the uh, installing client. This may take some time to finish. Now you can see that the PyCharm Community Edition is finished downloading. You can also open that up. Uh, now we can see Python's almost done downloading, but uh, my PyCharm doesn't seem to be opening. Now that I've clicked PyCharm and now it's starting, now you can click next, choose where you'd like to download it, and now I, I seem to have opened it multiple times, but you can create a desktop shortcut if you want, and that's pretty much it. It creates a start menu folder, you can change the name if you'd like, and now we can see that um, Setup was successful for Python. You can click close. Now, uh, PyCharm is almost done installing. And now we can click run PyCharm Community Edition and click finish. Um, I'm just going to click do not import settings. Click OK. Click I've confirmed that I've read the and accepted the terms of this user agreement. You can read through it if you'd like. You can pick whether you'd like to send usage statistics or not. And now you can pick a uh, dark or light theme. I prefer the dark theme. And I wouldn't like any extra plugins for now, but you could if you would like to. Now if I click start using PyCharm, it loads up. This is the latest community edition 2018.3. Now let's start writing some code. If you click create a new project, you can set the name. I'm just going to set it first Python program. Click create. It creates a virtual environment which can be used for installing plugins and libraries. Now that it's done, I would not like it to, to show it on startup. Click close. And now if you click on your Python program, right click, click new, and look at Python file. You can name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to name it um, first. And now I'm going to teach you the first bits of Python, just write.
point, which is basically like tape or something. And you have to add two parentheses, and then add two apostrophes. It should automatically do that. And then write whatever you'd like in here. Like, I'm just going to write hello world, which is pretty standard in the coding communities. And now you can click run. And then click first, that should show up. And now it types hello world. And that's your first program done. Thank you for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe if you like the content. I'll see you in the next video.